Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. In our last episode, uh, we continued our push down here in the south, um, trying to, uh, you know, push out, cut off, and destroy as much of these allied forces down here as we can. And the big problem we were running into is uh, lack of supplies. We got a whole bunch of units over here out of supplies. Um, we got these guys all up here that we we're trying to push into the region all out of supplies. Um, so that's been a bit of a problem. Now, I did have a success, uh, suggestion in the comments on the last episode um, to release the Soviet Union, just let them go, because um, I was thinking that we were getting the supplies diverted to the north to help supply all of these um, allied forces that are pushing through here that are inexplicably moving all the way across the Soviet Union to try to get into Japanese territory for some reason. Um, but uh, I wasn't too sure, so um, what I went and did was I ran an experiment. I went and I released them as a puppet and then advanced the game several months just to see what would happen. And it didn't really seem to affect anything. Um, I was still having, you know, similar supply problems. Um, so I think there are other things causing the supply issues besides that. And that's kind of one of the problems with this game, is the supply system is incredibly complicated and doesn't feed back to the player very well um, as to what's happening. Like, I have no idea why there isn't any supplies here. Uh, and the game isn't telling me why there aren't any supplies here. Um, I mean, I got some red hash marks here, but I'm not even really sure what that means. Um, and it doesn't tell me what that means. So, there's no legend, there's no key, there's nothing in the tooltip. I'd probably have to go look it up. Um, and which I probably should do, but um, I haven't really had time. So, um... And, and you also don't have a lot of control over it as a player. It just kind of automatically simulates. Um, there are a couple of things that, you know, you can do, um, is you can use, uh, air transports, which is what we've been using, um, for most of this series to push supplies around manually. Um, but there is another way to p move supplies around, which is by ship, which I'm for completely forgot um, that I could do, um, because we really haven't had the opportunity to do it, and most of our fighting's been up here in the interior of Russia, um, and there's no... You know, using convoys, but now that we're along the coast of the Mediterranean, the Persian Gulf, the Red Sea, we actually have opportunities to set up convoys to push supplies around, which is what I'm going to try and do. Um, and also, I'd rather not release the Soviet Union because I'd really like to keep direct control over their manpower and in, in industrial capacity. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some um, supply convoys and see if that helps here. So we're gonna need to pick origin points. We got a bunch of supplies here. We got supplies here. We have good supplies in Istanbul. Burgas, there's some supplies. Varna, there's a nice pile of supplies there. Um, and Varna actually has a pretty good um, port. Istanbul's got a good port. They got a really good port. So let's do this. Aragi, uh, Aragli, here. We're gonna set up a convoy. So let's turn off the auto create supply convoys, which the computer really should have been doing. But we're gonna do this manually then. We're gonna find Aragli here. We're going to push supplies from there to Tel Aviv. Alright, so now we're pushing supplies to Tel Aviv. Thing is, I think Tel Aviv doesn't have a very good port. No, it doesn't. Um, Beirut has a slightly better port, so let's push some supplies to Beirut as well. Um, let's go from Istanbul. So we're going to go create a supply convoy from Istanbul. Istanbul to Beirut. 
That should hopefully put some supplies on that road along the Mediterranean coast that will then hopefully move in the right direction. All right, now where else are we gonna want supplies to go? Um, for now, um, the only other real ports we have is over here on the Persian Gulf. We have Al Basra here, and we have Beb Behan. Beb Behan. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, so let's go ahead. I think we're going to be taking this province here soon. How supplies look over here? There's actually okay supplies here. I mean, there's lots and lots of fuel, but no supplies. Well, very little supplies. That seems to be the uh, the theme around here. Tons and tons and tons of fuel, um, but actual supplies, food and bullets, um, is the big problem. But let's set up the supplies anyway. We're going to go from, let's say, from Varna to Al Basra here. So we're going to go from uh, Varna to Al Basra. Where are you? There you are. Uh, we'll put a lot of ships on that one. Because now we control, because Italy, we control the, you know, the Suez Canal now. So we can we can put um, ships through there now. So that should help. What I'll do is once we take this province, I will set up a supply route into that province there. I'll push some supplies into this region. Nothing I can do about the guys up here. They're just going to have to hold out um, for now. Um, maybe some supplies will eventually drift down to them as more of these forces move out of the territory. And maybe if I push more aggressively over here, um, things will sort themselves out. And this stack actually doesn't need to be over here anymore. We can, um, we can probably redeploy them down here, bring them into this, this group of guys. All right, so let's just go ahead, unpause it, and we'll see how that starts to help things, if it does. All right, so we took this. We're going to get in here. It's going to cut off this, this region here. So we should be able to really uh, destroy guys. So let's take a couple of guys here. These, let's actually start marching these units in. They're not organized, but they, they'll get organization as they move. Okay, yep. There we go. We've now cut them off. So let's take... Uh, let's take this armor division attack that guy. Let's take the 15th Infantry Division and attack there. Oh, it's looking like these guys now have some supplies. Let's actually march them to the front, because we don't want them eating all the supplies before they get actually to these troops. Oh. I don't think we actually have any of our own MPs in the area. Oh, there. We do. Let's march them there. 
So you can actually just stay there. Maybe the um, the Germans will take care of that. Oops, more warship sonar. Something we want to make sure we keep rolling here. Um, capital ship secondaries need to make sure to keep going. Any new text can get added? No. Uh, nothing there. We definitely need that radar. I need like transfer ship engines, hulls, landing craft. I need all this stuff. Eventually. We are 1950 now, so a lot of this can get worked on, but um, we're going to have to let that slide. Oh, sloped armor. We still don't have that. Oh, let's just... No, let's get that. Let's get that. Capital ship main armament. Let's make sure capital ship main armament and battle cruiser engine. Right, so actually, some of these guys are starting to get some supplies. Forces are under attack. Oh, and of course, I'll just trace my hands. Let's see. These guys actually are getting some supplies now. Battleship armor. Keep that rolling. Um, it's not great, but it's something. So let's take the opportunity and launch the attacks we're going to launch with them. They should have plenty of... Oh, we just wiped that out. Ooh, nice. Alright, so these guys can move here. These guys can move here. These guys can move here. That's what I was waiting for, was... Basically that... To happen so that then this entire line can just roll forward. Swing them there. Well, it looks like the Italians have actually relieved this front. So... Right, so these guys actually... Oh, the, these forces are actually about to get wiped out. So let's actually break these uh, units off. Get them over somewhere where there's actually some supplies. A little bit of supplies. Alright. So yeah, we're moving in there as soon as we actually... We got everybody on retreat. Alright, so yeah, these guys are... You know, Seeing some supplies now. Uh, we're probably going to have to back them off. Alright, now what are we going to do along the... The Iranian front? Oh, they ran out. They ran out. These guys did not. So let's take... Uh, these guys, let's launch. Let's push out a little bit. And for these guys, we'll push out a little bit. Same with these guys, we'll attack.
Just gonna spread them out a little bit. You might actually need to set up that, uh, that supply route here. Um, and then just move it. Um, Vargas? Uh, Salonika. There's not a lot of supplies here. We could set up a supply route anyway. Um, so, supply convoy um, from Salonika. Uh, where is it? Salonika, there it is. To uh, that guy right there. Two ships on the route. There we go. All right. Yep. They're gonna they're gonna gather in there, and then we're just gonna wipe each unit out as it drops in. So, let's see, let's take you, move you there, move you there, whoa, we lost a battle somewhere? guys actually managed to get a little bit of supplies. Let's see if I can actually move them a little bit while they are supplied. So yeah, this is done. All those uh, American and British forces have been wiped out. This is a bit of a mess, but it'll probably all sort out once um, once the United Kingdom falls and all the war goals get sorted out. Battleship engine. Another one of our marine divisions we're collecting here in the capital. Now, what do we want to do with these guys? Do we want to push them out to the front? Or just keep them... Let's push them out to the front. Just in case you need them. Okay, so these guys are moving in here. Which we're going to take that. Then we can... Push like this. So you might want to move that route from Al Basra to Al Kuwait. Except we destroyed 
the seaport here in Kuwait. It's damaged and can't be used. But hopefully supplies from Al Basra should move to Kuwait. In theory. Can you actually attack those guys? And have you attack these guys. Attack these guys. Move in there. Some supplies are making it are making it here. You attack there. The stack attacks there. Oh, it's only a level one port. Everybody move in there. Actually, now you guys move there. Help out in that attack. We're making some progress. We're making some progress. Okay, all you guys move here. All you guys move here. Move there. Move there. Attack these guys. Assault. Now that you actually should have some supplies. There we go. You attack there. You move in. Alright, are there any ports? Okay, there's a port here in Alith. Guys are attacking there. Ooh, that guy ran out of organization. These guys drop off. Bow ramps, machine gun positions. They're putting up some good resistance. Uh, you guys need to drop out of the fight. Party rally. Alright, let's see. Uh, nope. Let's see, what's the inefficient research we got going here? Electronic computing machine. Length in a minute. All right, let's see how we distribute it here. Um, these guys advance here. Province lost. Oh, they pushed up a little bit. Is there no infrastructure there? Oh, there's no infrastructure there. Okay. Alright, so you guys move here. You guys attack there. You guys attack there. These forces move in. These guys swing down. You attack here. Alright, that battle is over. Alright, everybody. Now swing here. And let's. Here. Bandar. 
right, so let's move the one supply line coming in here. So this guy, cancel that convoy. And we're going to move it to here, Bandar. Um, I think we're sending that from here. Yes, from here. So that is what? Burgess. Okay. Create a supply convoy from Burgess to Bandar there. Three ships. Looks good. All right. Mechanical computing machine advance, and we can probably take that off the queue. There we go. You are getting that radar for warships, right? Yes. Destroy a frigate, then we'll get it for cruisers, and then we'll go for capital ships. Alright, you guys. Push. We probably don't need all these forces here. Really. That's alright. Um, let's take... You guys attack there, you guys attack here. Support. And these two... These two guys attack there. We have resources being shipped over to Venezuela? Odd. No, we got plenty of convoys, so we can take a few lost convoys. And we can rebuild them if we need to. We got lots of IC. Change of plans. Come in there. Alright, so you're taking that. Let's launch an attack there. Special Forces Unit Combined Arms. Desert Unit Command and Control. So we're moving in there. So these guys can attack here. Uh, let's move these guys forward. Naval bomber prototype, radar destroyer frigate. Okay. Uh, naval bomber prototype. We need radar electronics at least two. Okay, so I need to actually improve my radar, my base radar. I'm of a mind to just cancel that convoy. Kaibo? Yeah. Um. Uh, defense research. Okay, we got some uh, improved research there. And won't let me cancel the convoy, so we'll just take all the ships off the convoy. So all they're going to do is get sunk and forget it. Amphibious unit training. Right. Guys, keep rolling forward. Just keep rolling forward. Well, we're about to wipe that guy out, so there's no big deal there. We're 
We're going to eventually need some more, um, more of those guys down here. But... Let's have him mop the rest of that up. And just then park himself somewhere. You guys, let's roll you over there. Advance, advance. Everybody advance. Providing no resistance at all. Oh, we need to worry about this this front as well. Um, okay, so let's take these guys push forward. These guys push forward. No organization, no, not organization, no infrastructure here or here. Okay. Or here. So we're actually going to have to send everybody up here. Conquering Afghanistan is going to be tough because of the poor infrastructure in the region. How are the Japanese doing? Why do we still have ships on that route? Oh, because... Auto maintain was turned on. No ships on that route. They're just gonna get sunk. Yeah, if they push against that unit, it's just gonna retreat. So why don't we do this? There's supplies up here, right? No fuel, no fuel. There's supplies, but no fuel. Oh, oh they're on retreat. I can't give them any orders. What I might have to do is come at Afghanistan from the south and then just push north. Um, I would really like it if these guys just turned south and came down on them like that. That would be helpful. Alright, so... Where's the infrastructure? Okay. Let's move the whole stack. And actually, we're at a good point to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, we're making some progress. We destroyed these guys here. We're pushing down the Arabian Peninsula. Um, making some, some good headway there. Um, these units... All right, well, we'll come back to that. Um, so hopefully it won't be too much longer before all of this is dealt with um, and ceases to be a problem. And then we'll move forces over here to continue to push into Pakistan and India. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.